All right, last request of the day, Immunity Bio IBRX. One of the members, uh, like me, loves this ticker and the potential of the company. Um, big time. We got a big move today. We're Looks like we're in closing around, yeah, 565 per share. Roughly 22% change today. Um, the member asked, you know, what's the deal? What's the big move about? Uh, probably multiple factors involved here. Um, the market being up. Um, biotech, healthcare in general was up. And then uh, what I believe is the, the primary driver today was the fact that uh, Biden announced uh, doing cancer moonshot now in the 25 years. And the goal with this is to cut the amount of deaths in the United States uh, from cancer in half and within 25 years. Um, immunity bio being, you know, owned. F former CEO, founder, we'll just say yeah, the founder, Dr. Patrick Sun Xiong, um, was kind of involved in the 2016 moonshot, which was for 2020. Um, after the president's son had died from glioblastoma, Obama, President Obama kind of appointed him to start this cancer moonshot program, and I believe Sun Chung was involved with it. I, I don't think I ever s saw that he was officially involved with it, but um, essentially it got all the big time, big pharma and biotech together, and he was in there. Um, trying to get you know this thing to work and you know everybody was like yeah let's get this done but no one wanted to work together because that's competition you know you don't want to be like given like just, what are you working on you know like yeah, we're working on this come take a look at all our stuff and get our ideas um you know and of course you got to work with insurance companies ultimately ultimately you don't even come up with everything you eventually have to work with insurance companies and you gotta get the tests done and uh you know that doesn't work out but anyway back to today um i believe because his name was involved so many times in that cancer moonshot not only because you know he was you know in there i guess you'd say um in some f form but um the company or him in general was doing a cancer moonshot for 2020 <clears throat> and uh you know they've made progress um the idea you know he keeps saying the paradigm shift which is you know not necessarily seeing cancer as an acute you know end of stage uh, end of life illness but you know moving it towards more of a chronic illness which means you're somebody who has cancer and it's part of your life and you'll probably always you know in some way be fighting it off but it's it's not a you know it's either win or lose you know it, you can the losing part can be uh living with rather than losing with or l lost i guess you'd say um so anyway so that's my thought of the reason why we're we're seeing we saw this move today we ended up right under the 200 day ema um but we based out nicely for a little bit we got some bullish diversions happened right here Right, yeah, we're pretty damn close to it. Yep, yep, bullish divergence. Got down near a buy target one, made some solid buys, got big, and then now we're enjoying this move. Um, very nice. Um, probably gonna be moving this volume shelf around six bucks can be rough, and then seven dollars. I know we chopped around for a while in that area. There's the nine. I, I keep I still I'm gonna still keep finding you know at this point I'm waiting for buy one that you know. Maybe to, to just automatically press the trigger or pull the trigger. But once we're above here, I'm get looking for discretionary setups. Um, today, I wouldn't buy on this, but maybe on a pullback and maybe see a retest around $5 flat. You might see some, uh, some support there now moving forward. Let's see if we see anything on this RSI here. So there's that. <clears throat> 
So we could probably see a solid pullback, like pretty aggressive and still have, a, you know, be in a bullish state here. Is it really bullish though? Not really. I mean, we got to still dealing with a pretty sar solid sell off from the highs. Um, so that's it. I mean, that's the technical part. Now let's, I, I mean, I'm going to take a moment and just kind of remind or update if you guys haven't seen this before, just to get an idea. There might be some people out there <clears throat> that haven't read yet. And the, any of the members haven't really gotten into me, uh, immunity bio yet uh, and why I think it's a top idea and it will probably remain a top idea in the compounding healthcare service for a long time is because of essentially this 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 sums it up right here all right this is these are the things that the company the platforms I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again platforms this company has okay so um then we'll get into it anyway, anyway they have the cytokine fusion proteins um the big one being uh what is it uh it's, well it's il-15 but it was uh anctiva um that's the one that's going to be in the uh nmibc cis uh, which has been submitted. Oh, there it is. Anctiva. Yeah, there it is. Anctiva. Is in various other. So it's it's basically their. I don't want to say. I would say it's their flagship. Maybe they might, may, they might not see it. Well, you know what? I guess since it's at the top here. But it's basically their flagship. Oh, look. There it is. Le you know, their antibiocytokine f fusion protein. It's basically their flagship product here. Um. Hopefully, going to get approved. Um, this will be the first, you know, product on the market for them. And uh, if they can get it through, that probably bodes well for the rest of these trials that they're running it with. Um, here's the original designation N eight two zero. Where's the N? Which one? Am I wrong? Huh, maybe I am wrong. Yeah. Um, <coughs> this one's interesting. Um, Doxorubicin. Um, they have L Doxorubicin, which they got from uh, CYTR. Yes. Cydrix, yeah. I used, to, I still, I still have some shares. I think somewhere. <laughs> but Aldox Arubison, oh my gosh. Let me tell you. I mean, that company. Yes, yeah, so it's CYTR. Now it's OTC. That was run by Steve Kriegsman for the longest time, and uh, I've never seen shareholder value just absolutely crushed steamrolled and incinerated so bad but now I mean I can't I'm gonna say this Patrick Sun Chung is 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 shrewd he got that for dirt cheap for what it can be I mean Docs Rubison is one of the I mean beautiful amazing Oncology agent and the aldoxorubicin is uh, it, sh it could you know I I, I don't only I, it could be game changing so they own that see how that goes uh, several vaccine technologies uh, RNA protein uh, multiple different types of vectors well actually I'll see if I can pull that up later how many different ones they have uh, yeast one they got just about everything COVID-19 and then what I love first which was uh, I, I originally was in uh, Nant Quest 
originally for the, my original investment. Now they did a reverse merger for Immunity Bio to take NanQuest in the spot on the market here. Um, NK cells and engineered NK cells. And they got Hanks, T Hanks. Um, but essentially what they did with CAR T, these guys are doing with NK cells, which ultimately probably sur will surpass CAR T cells. Not that that would be, you know, completely useless or truly antiquated, but, um, you know, NK cells in terms of, I would say they're, uh, Let's see their their abilities um, to fight cancer, you know, cytotoxicity and all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. This explains right there. Antibody dependent cellular toxicity. There you go. Cellular cytotoxicity. T Hank. This is like the CAR T one. Beautiful. And then they can take PDL1, so they're going to take the immunotherapeutic, so Cantarx PDL1 via Chimeric. So they're going to take the cars they need for PDL1, put it on the Hank, and there you go. And this is the Autologus and Allogeneic. Off the shelf, baby. Just get and go. This is the cool part. This is some of the stuff that, yeah, here we go. Products, let's see first, which was, wow, this is long. We have developed a unique, a unique ability to generate a portfolio of distinct MSync sell products through the application of our proprietary GMP in a box by our reactors and cytokines and our proprietary methods of overall expertise in scale manufacturing like these guys have I maybe they don't have it as a picture maybe you know what let's go to the I'll see if I can find it real quick but it looks it's like a microwave on, on your counter that you could use to make your drugs that you need for your day no that's probably not there. There's some older. Yeah, this is. But anyway, let's get to. Uh... All right, here we go. These guys are nuts. Look at this. You could take one of these. Each one of these is its own. Like these platforms are in so many ways are their own standalone companies small little biotechs that are worth you know 200 300 million would be love would, would would kill to have one of these this guy's got six look at the dna vaccines these guys rna vaccines recombinant cytokines look at this Yeah, N803, Anctiva, there it is. I even I even done enough research on these guys yet. This is I know this. This is my favorite. I mean, this is why I got involved with. Then I when I found out that th this is what they're, you know, th I knew that they had this and Aldoxorubicin. And this is just these va the vaccine technology, self self amplify ugh, self amplifying RNAs. So, so here's bladder cancer. This is the one that was submitted. So next year should have an, uh, you know, hopefully get approval on that.
This will be interesting to see what happens here. Meaning, is it better than people, you know, right off the bat? Move into that first line. Um... We're getting there. But this is oncology by itself, right? Just in general, the M sank. So this is that's probably the big one to keep a, keep an eye on. And then infectious diseases, they got HIV, and a bunch of COVID-19 ones. Crazy. Love it. Truda crushes it. All these highlights. Not even I'm close. Get to keep her bladder, that's nice. Pancreatic cancer. Must be a video there. It's not loading up. Median overall survival. 13 months, pancreatic. This is the patients they got here. They have five patients. All of them pass second line survival rate. Not bad, right? I mean, come on. Complete response. Of course, these guys are highlighting the best, but it's just. I guess it goes back to the fact that if you were to pick. I, I, I'm not saying that Biden's going to say, like, yo, this guy's my dude, and while well, he actually is not, I mean, she, he already appointed uh, someone for a position for it, and in terms of, like, the government, but if he's going to do some funding. And you're gonna find somebody that knows how to get, well, how to get you cancer oncology agents through the FDA, and knows what he's talking about, and has the platforms. 
you know, the brain to do it, the money to, I, in, a, in a way, I should say, in a way, the money to do it, at least because he's got places, you know, his own endeavors to do it. I guess it would be Patrick Soon Shung. So maybe everybody's thinking of that. Because he's, they got the manufacturing now. Let's go back up. There was, I mean, they have square footage now. New York and out in uh, California. This, guy's, this is going to be in-house. These guys are going to get as much as they can in-house. They're going to be handling this stuff. Seven hundred thousand square feet. No, that's not all manufacturing yet. It says R and D offices and corporate, but still seven hundred thousand square feet. They got they got the space. They, these guys are legit. They got what they need to get this done. Anyway, I'll uh, end it there. But if everybody's kind of wondering, it's I believe it's because of there's the connection from twenty sixteen. And, uh, you know, these guys have, you know, Biden kind of had the program going or the initiative. And uh, Soon Chung has been going after it himself. He hasn't given up. He's got a game plan. He's got the companies. He's got the medical centers. He's got the manufacturing. And... I have to go back and maybe I have to go look and study some old, or go through some 10Ks and maybe look at old uh, slides. But I don't think anything's been stopped. I don't think they've failed. I don't think they got to phase, you know, one or two or whatever and halted the trial or stopped the trial for, for futility reasons. Now, a lot of this is their these uh, programs are pretty young, you know, early. But Just a reminder, like pharmaceuticals, immunotherapies, cell therapies, adjuvants, vaccines, two different, I mean, two types of vaccines, not more than two types, but two general platforms, multiple, actually more than that. I mean, the multi, each one, each one of these things is it's in itself its own kind of platform. I mean, it's crazy, crazy. You can, I mean, N eight zero three in itself is its own company. L Rubison is almost its own company. I mean, like these are, these are both of these products can are in itself fund companies they have two of them and then throw in all the cell therapies and all the vaccines crazy anyway i'll end it there um i hope that helps out i might even made some things worse i'm and that i'll apologize but um you know it's something to think about keep an eye on for us still just keep uh you know we did well you're following it you're pulling the trigger we hit buy target one um you know we have months and months and months and months uh before you know we get probably some uh, here from the fda about an approval or not um it can come early and i think the data supports is pretty clear um you know they have to do all the inspections and all that stuff which is probably not going to be 
you know, this month or something like that. They've got a while before, you know, like it's, there's still a while before we're going to even hear anything, but um, I think, I don't think it'd be, be surprised if uh, we hear early on this one. And then if they do, if that does get approved, basically all the stuff that has Anctiva or N803 in it, probably all those programs are are going to be validated to, you know, not entirely, but it's going to have a better outlook, that's for sure. And then we can finally get the sucker back up in the 20s. That'd be nice. All right, I'll end it there. Have a good night. This will be on the watch list for tomorrow, that's for sure.